season SOS Don't wanna second guess This is the bottom line is true I gave my all for you Now my heart's in two And I can't find the other half What's up, YouTube? Pixar Prime 10 here with another video review, this time of the Transformers Prime Cyberverse Commander Class Autobot Leader, Optimus Prime. The figure that I am missing so far out of the Commanders, well, the one that I skipped because I couldn't find him, so I went straight to Predaking. But uh, here we have him in his Beast Hunters packaging. We can see a Thunderlance included. This is the same design that we saw in the Voyager form, and now that we know he does look like in the show, just without all the spiky, beasty stuff. And, um, you can see Autobot Leader, Autobot logo, got his technical data, got a strength of a 10, intelligence 8, speed 7, endurance 10, rank 10, courage 10, fire loss 9, skill of an 8, uh, series 3, figure number 1, commander class, seems that his tech spec has gone up with the new upgrade, hmm, <clears throat> well, oh, I kind of spoiled it for a little bit, didn't I, if you haven't seen the fourth episode, but, uh, Optimus Prime is carrying the Mighty Star Saber, and is ready to take on the Predacon threat, hmm, I wonder what the Star Saber is, maybe that's that, I don't know, ha <laughs> ha I'm so funny, Thunderlands launcher included, Star Saber included, Autobot Alliance, truck mode, uh, bots cons, command your world from the Cyberverse line, so, uh, let's, uh, let's break him out of prison, and, uh, Take a closer look at the Autobot leader. Alright, so here's Optimus out of the package and in his beastly vehicle mode. Kind of beastly with the little spikes here in the front. Um, this is kind of nice. I do like this. Uh, very similar to the Voyager figure. Um, now, if you don't like spoilers, this is kind of a spoiler, not really. If you don't like spoilers, cover your ears when I go like this. This isn't this isn't it, but when I go like this, cover your ears, and when I go like this again, you can uncover them because the spoiler's over, okay? So Alright, so we've seen Optimus in this form in the show. Obviously he flies around a lot like the Voyager. We haven't seen him transform yet, so we still yet to know if this vehicle was accurate. All we know is these spikes really aren't accurate. No, spoiler. Ah! So um I mean, it's kind of cool. You can see his hands right there. That's not bad. Now, this section here where I don't have this touching, that's not on every month. It's just mine, and I just have something transformed wrong where I can't get it. That's not a problem, so ignore that. And it looks like he's got, like, a little cage back here where you can, I don't know, put your finger in there. I don't know. Keep your money safe. I don't know. Um, But really cool, you can see on the side we have his Thunder Lance launcher. Which kind of looks like this, the part actually here that holds the missile kind of looks like the weapon that came with the Voyager form. So, um, sorry about that, had an itch. <laughs> all the commander figures now, it seems all the commander beast hunters are coming with missiles. So, or friction missiles. So that's kind of cool, something that Transformers have stepped away from kind of lately. And now on the other side, you can see we have the Star Saber. Nice representation. Would have been nice if it was painted. But, uh, I really like that. Those are his weapons. Now, this is a very unearth-like vehicle mode. I don't really like the front here, and I don't know why this moves. But, um, the front looks kind of ugly, in my opinion. The wheels kind of do with the big gaps in the circle there. They could have painted that or something. But it's nice, to, it's nice that they're silver. So, um, let's transform him to his robot mode. What you want to do first is just pull that out. Separate his legs. And then take his feet. Pull those out, and then fold these around, and just lock them into place. Then you have his legs done. You want to take his arms. Oh, jeez, well, don't pull them off. That that wasn't supposed to happen. Now you have his arms out, and you want to take this whole section. And then the front section of the car stays how it is. And then... It be kind of tricky to, oh, well, I still have the waist locked in. I'm a terrible reviewer. You just take this waist section and pull it out. And then you can take this whole section. And this just rotates up to the top. And then you want to take his arms out of these pin or whatever joints here. 
spin those around. Arms are a lot like the Voyagers, with those little silver bits. Now there's a little peg right there that goes into a hole down here. And it just, and then there's just two pegs in here. We just have this in. Hmm. Well, that seems to not be happening yet. So we're going to rotate this, get this, take his head, flip that up. One thing I do like about this is I kind of like the head a little bit more than the Voyager. And I can't get this to peg in. There we go. That pegs in. Everything's all nice, nice. They actually had him transformed a little bit. Now I'm realizing when he was in the box. But um, here is Optimus in his robot mode. As you can see, a lot like the Voyager with the spikes on his um abdomen section. Silver parts on his forearms. Um, the wheels kind of annoy me. He doesn't have wings, which I wish he did. If you've seen episode four, you'd know why I wish that. Now, for his weapons, here's a star saber. Peg it into his hand, and then there's no pegs on his back, so you can't store it back there. And then with this, you can either hold it like this, you can have him hold it like this, or I see a peg where you can peg it on like that. Well, I saw a peg hole, not a peg. Uh, and he's got a little teeny tiny little belt logo right there. Um, I really do like this head sculpt. Um, I love the blue eyes on there. No head rotation. Speaking of rotations, for his articulation, the head goes up and down. The shoulders here are on ball joints. Um, his elbows are on ball joints. The waist doesn't do anything. The hips are on ball joints. He bends at the knee. And because Due to the, our transformation, his feet can move. So that's really nice, his robot mode. Really looks fantastic, actually. I mean, I wasn't a fan of the vehicle mode really all that much. I don't really like the vehicle mode. But this looks really nice. And, uh, let's have them all geared up. And then, uh, now, with these spike sections, I, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to have it up like that. But, you know, who cares what they want? What the Hasbro people who designed this toy and gave it to us, those very nice people, who cares what they want? But, um, kind of cool, and you can have the Star Saber up there. Um, but this is a very cool toy. Uh, if you want a more show-accurate Optimus, I'd get this. Um, if you want to stick with the original Optimus for Cyberverse, stick with that. It's not going to be very show-accurate anymore. But, you know, this is a very nice Optimus. Definitely gives me an Optimus vibe. Um... And I do like the bulk of it, and I really love the robot mode. And the transformation is a lot like the original Cyberverse one. Not in, like, ways it moves, but in the way it's, like, very kind of cool the way it's designed and it all fits together. But, um, let me transform him back into his vehicle mode. What you want to do first is flip down the feet. Flip those down. Take this. This unpegs. Take that back. Take these little cages things, the walls of the cages, flip them around, flip that around, clip those together, take the head, rotate that in, take this section, rotate that around, whoopsies, <clears throat> rotate these arms, like so, and this part can be kind of tricky. You have to get the arm like that, and then this just comes down. Do the same on the other side, because, you know, everything must be symmetrical. And you want to take this, pull this in, pull that in, clip the arms together. And then the arms kind of come in and line up. Then you want to take this waist section down here. You want to, this part can be kind of difficult. You want to rotate this down and then push this forward as much as you can, but... Oh, yeah. I don't know why this won't peg in. Because those aren't straight. But there we go. That black part is to peg in. 
plug in, plug in, peg in. And then this all just comes together. If I could get it. Now these arms actually kind of bother me. They are very kind of difficult to get in and to stay in and look good. So that is very annoying. Thumbs down on that. And then these arms come down and just slot in and peg into the legs. When you do that, you unpeg everything else. Make sure everything's rolling nicely. And um, I won't be able to do it right now because take me like 10 minutes to get this thing pushed together all nicely but there we have the beast hunters optimus back in his vehicle mode now this like i said very nice the vehicle mode eh, probably the weakest of the modes um the robot mode th though does look very fantastic and it's got a very nice transformation very nice like the way the arms fold up and well, the legs aren't that intricate they just fold but um uh honestly between this and the Original Cyberverse, this one's bigger, but I have to prefer the old one, um, just, but this one is nice if you want to complete, I don't know, the new Cyberverse collection, or have a show accurate Optimus for season three in your collection, go ahead and do that, so, uh, pick them up, um, got them at Toys R Us, the local toy store. So, alright guys, thanks for watching this review of the Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Commander Class Optimus Prime, and, uh, have a great day.